Hey guys! So, have you ever wondered what it would be like if Pokemon could fuse? I just think it's neat to imagine two little guys combining to become something brand new. Today we're going to be using the random Pokemon generator to help us decide on a couple Pokemon to fuse together, and hopefully we'll get some cool results. Alright, so let's see what Pokemon we're going to fuse first. And we get... Ooh! Mega Tyranitar and Kabutops? Yeah, this could be pretty cool. Two uh, Rock-type Pokemon. And Mega Tyranitar has so many neat details, and Kabutops is pretty cool as well, so... I think this is going to be fun to fuse together. When I started on this first sketch, I initially thought that, hey, maybe I should make the head kind of Kabutops-like. I made it wide, flat, and a bit pointy, and then gave it sharp eyebrows to match Mega Tyranitar's. For the body, I decided to take a lot more inspiration from Mega Tyranitar himself. I like how large and imposing that Pokemon is, so I wanted to make that present in this design. At first, uh, my proportions were all off. The body was way too small compared to the head. I did eventually make this change. It made the body a lot larger, though. I gave the design Mega Tyranitar's large shoulders spike things, but added Kabutops' abdomen parts to the chest plate itself. I also explored the idea of making the claws longer and sharper to mimic Kabutops' scythe hands, but in this first sketch here, I don't know if it really came across that well. If you couldn't guess, I wasn't very satisfied with this first iteration, so I took a step back. This was the point where my partner took a look at my sketch and suggested that, hey, maybe it would be cool if you gave Kabutops' head as the chest plate. And I thought, hey, that's a great idea. So I decided to run with it in my second sketch here. I made the head a lot smaller this time around and the body larger and got straight into making Kabutops' chest plate itself. This time around, I made the head look a lot more like Mega Tyranitar but I adjusted the eyebrows to be more forward-facing and flattened to kind of hint at how Kabutops' head looks from the front. I expanded the size of the chest plate to make sure it was a more prominent feature in this design. I didn't want to get lost in there, especially because so many of the features in this second sketch look like Mega Tyranitar himself, so I wanted to make sure there was some prominent Kabutops in there. I liked the scythe-inspired claws in my first sketch and decided to exaggerate them more here. And I think it came across a lot clearer that this was kind of supposed to mimic Kabutops' scythe hands. I drew a long tail in this sketch, but instead of adding those spiky tendril things near the tip of the tail that Mega Tyranitar has, uh, I instead added two rows of spikes to match the spikes on Kabutops' back. I then added these same spikes behind the head and neck to bring those elements together more in the design. I included Kabutops' abdominal plates to the normal triangle marking thing that Mega Tyranitar has on its belly, just to add some more features of Kabutops to the design. In the end, I really liked how this design looked. If Mega Tyranitar and Kabutops were to fuse, you would get... Mega Kabutar. This fusion is mostly a white-gray color, based around Kabutops being a fossil. Its eyes are hollow and glowing red, to add to it being powerful and intimidating. And our next fusion is going to be... Porygon 2 and Gulpin. Just looking at these guys, I mean, they both kind of have similar rounded body shapes. So, at least they have that similarity. But one thing that might make this, in a way, maybe it'll be easier, maybe it'll be more difficult, is the fact that they're both very simple designs. So, let's give this a whirl. I knew the direction I wanted to take this fusion almost immediately. Since Gulpin and Porygon 2 have such simple designs, I decided to focus on the most prominent features of each one. I used Porygon 2's body shape as the base for the design. Since Porygon 2 already resembles a duck a bit, I decided to have a little bit of fun with the bill of this Pokemon. I made it look like it was doing the duck face expression, bringing in Gulpin's usual kissy face into the design. I made the eyes closed to match Gulpin as well. Porygon 2's tail feather was added, as well as the head feather from Gulpin's design. They were already a very similar shape, so it seemed like the right choice to include them both. Gulpin normally has two stubby appendages to match its kissy face, so I wanted to incorporate that here. I changed the shape of the oval arm things that Porygon 2 has to be a, uh, shape. I finally finished the design by adding a diamond shape to the Pokemon's chest. When you take two simple Pokemon like Porygon 2 and Gulpin and fuse them, 
you get Pori Gulp 2, the duck face Pokemon. And our next fusion is going to be between, ooh, Jolteon and Primal Kyogre. Okay, yeah, I mean, Kyogre being a legendary makes this really cool. Uh, and then we have Jolteon. So maybe we can make it like a stormy sea type of legendary Pokemon. That could be pretty cool. Okay, so this fusion was the one I was most excited for. I really wanted to make a Pokemon that looked menacing and legendary and incorporate the idea of storms into the design. I knew that I wanted to use Jolteon's proportions as the base for this fusion. My first sketch was done very quickly. I just wanted to get out some of the ideas that were flashing around in my mind as quickly as possible. I realized by doing this that I really need to use a pose that would show off the sides and back of the fusion since that's where I wanted a lot of the details to be. I started on my second sketch, following the first one pretty closely but from a different angle. I gave it a wider shaped head and sharp jagged teeth like Kyogre's, as well as the legendary's markings. I kept Jolteon's general body shape but gave it a long tail that arched upward. I gave the design Jolteon's big spiky neck collar and then started drawing the long legs and feet. I went back to the loose tail sketch from earlier and added some fur to emulate the look of waves crashing down. I was thinking of how rough the seas get during a storm. I really like the two dorsal fins coming out of Kyogre's back. I thought it would be neat to use them, but change the shape to be more like lightning bolts. While I liked the general concept for the dorsal fins and the tail, I had already realized that this design overall just wasn't cutting it. I thought it kind of looked just like an angry Jolteon, so I decided to take a different approach. One of the things I wasn't liking so much in the first two sketches was the shape of the head. This time I made the head longer like Kyogre's. I quickly sketched in the general shape of Jolteon's ears before moving on to the body. This time I made the Pokemon's back and side face the viewer more, so you could really see the details that would be added there. After creating some forms for later, I added some details to the head. I gave the Pokemon a couple of sharp teeth, and then added some markings that were similar to the ones on Primal Kyogre. I gave the design a spiky neck collar, but only on the back of the neck to keep most of the visual interests on the Pokemon's back. I wanted the back of this Pokemon to be kind of like a cape. At first, I filled the space between the two dorsal fins with these swirly tendrils. I wanted it to look like waves crashing down, but as I added more and more, things start to look a bit messy. I took a look at Primal Kyogre's tail and realized that I could make use of those shapes instead and it would still give the look I was going for. I added a couple more markings and the design was complete. What would a legendary Primal Pokemon like Kyogre look like if it fused with a Jolteon? Well, it would become... Kyogeon. This design ended up exactly how I had hoped and hopefully you guys like it as well. All right, and our last fusion is going to be between, oh my goodness, we just keep getting legendaries and megas and everything crazy. We've got Raikou and Psyduck. So Raikou is actually one of my favorite Pokemon and definitely top tier for legendaries for me. And Psyduck is just so goofy and cute. So I'm really excited for this fusion. Just like my Porygon and Gulpin fusion, I had a pretty clear idea for this design. I basically wanted to make this Pokemon look like a goofy baby Raikou. I made it bipedal, round, and a little clumsy looking. I gave this Pokemon Psyduck's big blank stare, forming Raikou's headpiece around it. To play up how derpy this Pokemon is, I had it do the little blep mouth that you sometimes see cats make. I added some tiny little fangs, because if this is like a child version of Raikou, they wouldn't be long and sharp yet. I also decided to make this fusion look like it's wearing a cape to keep the purple one from Raikou and still make it childlike. I would eventually change the knot of the cape to be spiky like Raikou's tail. Psyduck's feet were added to the design, as well as Raikou's whiskers. I added some belly markings and some simplified V-shaped stripes. To finish the look, I gave this little guy two strands of hair, but curled them at the ends. Our final fusion for this video is... Ryuk, the goofy Pokemon you would get by fusing a Raikou and a Psyduck. If you'd like to see more Pokemon fusions, please let me know down in the comments and give this video a like. 
maybe this could become a series. See you guys next time. Bye.